Hey up, my name's John Dainty, and I've written a book of poems called Animal Anarchy. It's three poems about really daft animals. It's illustrated some fantastic pictures by my good friend Peter Kavanagh. And today I'd like to read you the first poem in the book, which is called Peter Percival Pike. So, if you're sitting comfortably, I'll begin. Peter Percival Pike was a fish that nobody liked. The reason could be summed up fully in Peter Percy Pike was a big fat bully. Sticklebacks and minnows, perch and tension bream hid away from Peter because he was so mean. And though they knew he looked tough, especially when he glowered, they also knew Peter Percy was nothing other than a coward. Just because he was biggest, he chased the other fish to make their lives a misery seemed his only wish. Saying, come on, let's be friends. I'm really sweet as honey. But when he got up close, he'd steal their pocket money. Though worst of all by far, when his tongue was feeling sharp, he'd eat sticklebacks and minnows, perch and bream and carp. Until one day, he searched and searched, but it seemed he was the only fish left in all the lake. And then he felt quite lonely. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dearie me, how can I make amends? It seems I've eaten everyone who might have been my friend. Why would they leave me all alone, no one else to eat or like? It's just not fair, I'm in despair. Poor Peter Percival Pike. It just so happened on that day a man came to the lake with rods and lines and welly boots and different kinds of bait. He parked his chair, and sitting there, on his hook, he put a worm. Peter laughed with glee. Maybe it's food for me. But it made his stomach turn. He rose up to the surface and spoke up to the bloke. Excuse me, but a worm, is this some kind of joke? I'm Peter Percival Pike, and I eat little fishes not squiggly worms and things that squirm. Now, please respect my wishes. There are no fishes left. Of friends, I am bereft, for reasons I don't know. It's really rude that they won't be my food. How am I supposed to grow? A talking fish? Good grief, I'm rich. If I can only catch him, if I can coax him to the shore, then in my net I'll snatch him. In all this lake, the only fish, I find that hard to believe. Well, we can be friends if that would help. By the name, my name is Steve. But I don't want a man to be my pal. I miss my fishy mates. A friend you can eat, now that's a treat. Where have they gone in greats? Will no one show any mercy to my mummy's little Percy? Hmm, maybe you should have thought of that. It's a fine time to regret them. If friends are so important, perhaps you shouldn't have eaten. them. I'll tell you what, back at my house, I have a little pond with golden fishes swimming there, of which I am quite fond. But if you promise not to eat them, they'll be your friends, I'm sure. You'll only have dried food, that's all, but your loneliness will be cured. So, Peter Percival Pike swam right into the net. I'd like to make some golden friends and eat their food, you bet. 
and all the way back to Steve's house, he prattled on and on. He hadn't realised how he'd miss his chums now that they were gone. Crikey, thought Steve, this fish can talk of all the things he hates. But I like fishing for the chance to think and dream and contemplate. I'm not sure now this talking fish is worth the irritation. And I'm not sure a bully fish won't cause some consternation amongst my lovely golden fish in their quiet little home. And Peter Percival Pike will nag me. I'll never be alone. It was then that Steve the fisherman came to a decision, the news of which got back to the lake and caused intense derision amongst the hiding sticklebacks, the minnows, perch and rough. For Peter Percival Pike was gone. As a trophy, he'd been stuffed. And now he sits within a pub looking quite surprised that nobody ever liked him he'd never realized that was peter percival pike i hope you liked it as i said it's in my book animal anarchy it's published on amazon and also on kindle and if you need more information you can contact me at the email address below info at coolcosmosco.com so come back soon and we'll have another poem and i hope you enjoy it and be good to yourselves Tara. <laughs>